The Sacramento Kings are encouraging fans to get in the game and have their voices heard by voting. The Kings recently confirmed Golden One Center will be used as a vote center for the 11 days leading up to and on Election Day, November 3rd, to provide increased access and a safe, socially distanced site for residents to register, to vote, and cast ballots. Here with more insight on the Kings' collaboration with other pro sports franchises to help rally the vote, is Sacramento Kings Chief Operating Officer Matina Colacatranes. Thanks for joining us. We want to hear all about this campaign to rally the vote. Thank you so much for having me today. Um, obviously, you know, we, everybody knows that voting is one of the most important things that you can do. And uh, unfortunately, 20% of eligible voters are not registered. So we partnered with When You Rise, uh, with uh, When You Vote, Rise and another 20 professional sports teams across all the leagues to relaunch Rally the Vote. That's Rally pretty the cool. Vote is, yeah, Rally the Vote's a nonpartisan voter platform. So this is a bunch of different pro sports teams coming together. Um, and I understand that the Kings, you guys have taken a lead on the project. Yes, yes. So we started this in 2018. At that time, we only had nine teams involved. Now we have 20 teams involved and we're growing it every day. So we have, you know, baseball, football, soccer, and basketball all involved. And um, everybody's really excited. We're, you know, we're gonna provide information and we've partnered with these two incredible groups to get as many people as we can to register and to vote. And why do the Kings feel that it's so important to get that push, to get your fans registered? Um, I think that we wanna provide a community service you know, as I said before, voting is important. It's not a political issue. It's nonpartisan. Everybody should have an opportunity to do it. And in these times with COVID and everything else that's going on, it's becoming more increasingly difficult. It can be confusing. So we have a really great platform. We can use our social media to inform fans as to how to vote, how to navigate through the process. Well, that's great that you're getting into it. I know a lot of the players have been using their voices. We've seen in the NBA bubble that they've been um, putting those social justice messages on their jerseys, including some of the Kings players. Um, and, and it seems like the league and the Kings encourage that. Yes, yes, we want everybody to be socially active. I mean, these are uh, challenging times for everybody and everybody should have the opportunity to vote and have their voice heard and get in the game. And so what's the plan? The, how are the Kings going to get fans to come out and register and actually place their votes this November? Well, we're going to uh, be doing social media outreach. And, you know, one of the most, uh, I think, powerful things that we're doing right now is we're going to have the building open for uh, 10 days prior to elections and people can come down and uh, cast their ballot. And we will um, also going to give our employees the day off. We're going to serve as election officers and we're all going to get trained for this process. And other teams across uh, America, are offering their stadiums and doing trying and we're also encouraging everybody to give the employees a day off so that people can vote. Now do you feel like this is going to be a successful campaign? I know you said you guys started the coalition in 2018 now you've added a bunch more teams. Who are some of those teams? How do we know it's going to be successful? Yeah you know the first time we started with nine teams and we know that we reached uh, millions of people through our social media platform and we registered thousands of people so now we've doubled that coalition and obviously there's a lot more public awareness around this issue. So we have the Chicago Bulls, the Chicago White Sox, the Denver Nuggets, the Milwaukee Timberwolves, it goes on and on. We also have the San Francisco Giants, uh, San Diego Padres. So we're up to 20 teams right now. You can think about what that, you know, we started with nine, dipped our toe in it, and now we've grown to 20, and we just keep adding more teams every day. And, and this is obviously a group effort. It's nonpartisan, and it's not just basketball. You've got all teams across all different sports involved. Yes, this is not a partisan issue and the, uh, the companies that we voted with are not political and voting is not a political issue. You know, it's a right that everybody has and everybody should go out and register and everybody should vote. And yes, we crossed over into other sports and we're trying to get as many teams as we can involved. All right, very good. And you can go do that at Golden One this November. You can also take action and register to vote right now by going to rallythevote.org.